very good, very nice. They'll recharge, yeah. They're really good, really fast charges, but they're a bit expensive. But I've got an e-tron card, so I get it a lot cheaper. The fluffy cows yeah. on my way in. So where have we come today? Keddleston Hall in Keddleston, Derbyshire. And we're doing a walk around the grounds first. Well, the sun is shining. The daffodils are out. It's just lovely. Fresh air. Exercise. Lots of old people. I'm getting away. We're going a long way around a lot. Start the journey. Here you go. Okay, we're going up the kids with the things. That three, start the journey, that's for the children with a activity thing. That's much more room for activities. <laughs> The mushroom house. Mm. Mushrooms. Do you like mushrooms? Yeah, I love them. Kedleston Hall is a neoclassical manor house and seat of the Curzon family. It is located in Kedleston, Derbyshire, four miles northwest of Derby. The medieval village of Kedleston was demolished in 1759 by Nathaniel Curzon to make way for the hall. All that remains of the original village is the 12th century All Saints Church. In 1939, Kedleston Hall was offered by Richard Curzon, 2nd Viscount Scarsdale, for the use by the War Office. The hall was used in various ways during the war, including a mustering point and army training camp. She pulled the off. cover off a muff. <laughs> the muffler off a mic. It's a beautiful views. What a beautiful day. It was a nice day yesterday, we went to the coast, but when we got there... It was cold. It was, well, when the sun was out, it was nice and warm, but it was, it was quite overcast and misty. So it kind of took the heat off the sun, but that's, that's beautiful, that is. Beautiful day. Here in the Derbyshire Dales. Well, we're following the path where it takes us. My jiggity ass walking. There's plenty of walking to be done on the road. Beautiful views though, look. We've made it to Vickerwood. To what? Some sort of border. It's Vickerwood. Oh yeah. That's interesting. Must mean that we're getting somewhere. Somewhere closer to a toilet. Not for me, I'm perfectly fine. <clears throat> I had an Indian before I come out. Well, I had the Indian last night. I think you had it for breakfast. I think I've still got some on board. Got so, uh, yeah, going for a walk sometimes works it through. I have no words. Might be hanging on. Look at that countryside up here. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. It'd be a... It'd be a... a shame to spoil it with... what a bear does in the woods. <laughs> beautiful. The sounds. The sounds of nature. Yeah. I have two think. <laughs> well, there's an announcement like that every time we come out, isn't there, really? What? This is some interesting. Short walk, long walk. Short walk, 
long walk. That's about as clear as mud. You like a long one, don't you? Keep going. She likes a long one. Actually, she fat. does. Not long. Hey. Fat. <clears throat> fat. Girth is better than length. Call me fat. Girth is better than length. Oh, I feel insulted again. Why? Because you haven't got either. Because you haven't got either. Long and thin, reaches in, short and thick, does the trick, is mm. what my nan used to say. That's true. What's short and thin do? <laughs> Not saying. <laughs> Not much. Never mind. It's all okay. Through the trees. Through the trees. If I could see it without you standing in the way, you moron. Uh, Over there. Actually, more. See these here? What, logs? Logs. They're straight and stiffer than mine's going to be, I'm telling you now. Did you notice? Oh, what? Another scrape? Yeah, on the back of my arm. Yes, 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 yes. That wasn't a chicken scrape. <coughs> so, she's stripping off. It's got one now. We're on the long walk. Well, you shielded in the trees and that from the wind and everything and the breeze yeah but it's still warm the trees aren't blocking the sun are they they're not like the heat no but it's blocking the breeze not like when there's a mist because that's in the atmosphere isn't it and it's oh, quite thick there's summer in the atmosphere <laughs> what's that then mm, tension tension <laughs> oh, i'm sure there's a lot of tension going on with you stripping off like that Grounds and gardens as they appear today are largely the concept of Robert Adam. Adam was asked by Nathaniel Curzon in 1758 to take in hand the deer park and pleasure grounds. It was during this period that the former gardens designed by Charles Bridgman were swept away in favour of the more natural looking landscape. Bridgman's canals and geometric ponds were metamorphosized into serpentine lakes. There we go. Splash pool. Do you want to go have a look at the splash pool? Yeah. I do, right. come on. There's a lake over there as well. Yeah. I'm not sure whether we'll have to come back this way once we've been this way. Well, you don't know that. We're going back over there then. There you go. No, that's exit to park. Where's the long walk? Oh, that there. Yeah. That's a splash pool. Sorry, big bug on the arm. There you go then. Had a big bug on me. <laughs> there was. It's off now though. Bugger. It's a shame they didn't make it into an area where you could actually get in there. Well, yeah, throw you over there. Another weir thing. Hmm? It, what do they call it? It's not a weir, is it? It's not a lot. Is it a waterfall? It's not a waterfall, though, is it? it? Kind of is. It's just like a. Anyway. Like a release from one big lake. One big lake down into a lower big lake. She's sulking again, look. <laughs> there you go. The modern woman. So. So, 
So we'll go over and have a look what's in these huts here. Probably boat shed of some sort, but what I thought. It's sorted. Huh? It's sorted. We've done. Just Can we selfie in? Yeah. Just done just over 8,000 steps now. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a boat house, I think. Yeah. That's a good one. No boat in it. By the 1970s, Kettleston Hall had become too expensive for the Curzon family to maintain. When Richard Curzon, second Viscount Scarsdale, died, his cousin Francis Curzon, third Viscount Scarsdale, offered the house, park and gardens to the nation in lieu of death duties. We're on the path back up to the house. We are indeed. We're nearly finished with the long walk. We are. So we're probably going to have some sort of refreshment. Going to have an ice cream. Mm, maybe. Um, and then go round the house and then we've got to walk round the lake. So that's the walk complete. And now it's time, time to go. Well, it's time for refreshments. Time for refreshments, an ice cream, mm. or maybe a lolly. Or a cup of tea or something. Definitely a cup of tea. Mm. And then fire around the house. Well, we'll go and explore the house. We're not firing around it. There's no rushing. Is that what you're having? Yeah, probably, yeah. Cream tea. Two cream teas. I thought you wanted something cool though. No, a cup of tea. You can get an ice cream out there after if you want, but I'm alright. Just a cup of tea will be fine. Cream tea. Sounds Cream tea. So yesterday, you had a stroll along the promenade, and today, you're having afternoon tea, if you please. Indeed. Is that correct? Is that accurate? Very, very accurate indeed. And how's it been? Delightful. Very good. Very nice. So, this absolute bell end. Oh, hang on. You blame me, but did you look? No. No, you was in charge of that. No, don't put me in charge of anything. I don't know how many times you have to be told. So now, it turns out the house closes at half past three. So that's all you're going to see of it. Yeah, very good. Come on, we'll Today? go for a walk. We'll have to come back another time. Yeah, we'll go for a walk. <laughs> Catherine. What? Not very good. Not very nice. <laughs> no, not very good. Very, not very nice. So, here we have... Church. Church? Yeah, I want to have a look around that. Why? A deal was agreed with the National Trust that it should take over Kettleston, along with an endowment, while still allowing the family to live rent-free in a 23-room family wing, which contained an adjoining garden and two rent-free flats for servants or other family members. Richard Curzon and his family currently reside there to this day. So... <clears throat> Half a Kettleston Hall. Well, the grounds of Kediston Hall. Hmm. Done. Yeah, they tricked us. And uh, we've missed out. Oh, we so we'll have to come back another day. We've not missed out. Oh, we have really. So, we've got to walk around this bit now. Are we? Yeah. I thought we was done. Oh, well, you might. I thought we was walking back to the car. So the car's over there, look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 